Salutations, spooks, spirits, and specters, and welcome back to Corpse Party 2, Dead Patient. I'm gonna go ahead and do the X chapter here with y'all. Let's see how this thing, how stuff turns out here. You're really sure you want to go? Yeah. We can't just sit and hide in here forever, can we? If we're go if we're going to get out of here, we need a better idea of what's going on. Don't worry about me though, okay? I'll be back. Just stay in here and wait for me, okay, mom? All right. Mom? Hmm. Never mind. It's nothing. Just please take care. I will. You take care too, though, all right? Promise me you'll come back safe and sound. I will. I promise. I'll be back in no time at all. Yeah, there's guys there. This door is locked up tight. I don't sense another living soul anywhere nearby. Are mom and I alone up here? No, I shouldn't jump to conclusions like that. Those armed men could be anywhere. As long as they're around, I need to keep it on high alert. Eh? That sounded like footsteps. Damn it, it has to be them. <sighs> hey, we're on a mission here, no slacking off. Come on, it was just a little yawn. Besides, we might technically still be on the job, but most of the patients have been taking in already. We've got this one in the bag. Doesn't matter, a job's a job, and we've got to take ourselves seriously. Besides, we still haven't even captured all the personnel on this list, never mind the patients. As long as even one target remains, it's our duty to capture them. Those were our orders. Damn it, don't know why I even signed up for this. Come on, let's just get, let's get moving. What do I do? This door is locked up. Sure is quiet. Of course it is. How many times have we patrolled this area now? There's no one here. Alpha to any available team. Please spawn, please. This is Delta. What is it? Understood. We'll be right there. A patient's been sighted on the first floor. They need backup. We gotta get over there. Roger that. Doink a doink a doinky doink. You didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing either. Ow. 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 You can't, you can't do this. my goal. Ow! That was a cheap shot. Yep. That's still the same. Are you 
kidding me? You got that hidden? find somewhere to hide. If I don't... Where even am I anyway? This doesn't look like a hospital... like... like a hospital ward anymore. There's black liquid everywhere. And this smell. What is this? Whatever it is, it's definitely not something that should be left on the floor in a hospital. What in the world is going on here? Hello. Orders change the room. A time card? I guess a member of the hospital staff must have dropped this, probably while leaving this room. I wish I knew who it was. Maybe then I could track them down so I could get inside. The MRI room perpetually generates a strong magnetic field, so please be sure to remove all metallic items before entering, including watches, hairpins, necklaces, etc. Any magnetic cards, such as debit or credit cards, should also be left behind before entering, as the field within could render them unusable. When a metallic object, such as tools or hands, or hand trucks, must be brought into the room for work purposes, permission must be sought in advance, and the technician must always be present. I didn't know you could even take a credit card into an MRI room. The list of restricted items is a lot bigger than I ever imagined. Still, I can't get into the room in the first place, so I should probably focus my attention elsewhere for now. Oh, I see I stopped bleeding. My headache has stopped. Oh. They moved that over there. Hello. Missed. Oh, where did he go? Time recorder. What are Friday ENT? I know what that means. So it means this one. The laundry machines are gone. It's fine. What's this card for? Oh! I didn't swap the ID card. Hmm, so she's not here. Oof, it reeks of disinfectant in here. I've never actually been in an operating room before. I've only seen them on TV. There's so much equipment, it's kind of impressive. I think I'll pass on spending any more time in here than I have to, though. Those guys have ID cards of their own. They might still be able to get in here. Is there any way I can stop them from getting inside? Whoa, there's a surgical tool connected to the two halves of the shell severed wire. I guess the connection must have broken, and this is someone's clutch to fix it. If I take this thing out, it might seal the door shut so no one else can enter. The question is, do I risk it? Ow! 
That was a bad idea. Ow. Touching that with my bare hands was really stupid. As long as there's still current running through it, I'm just gonna have to leave it alone, I think. Wow. I've got, like, I've got a ton of line notifications. I wonder who these are from. Ah, Yuka and Naomi. Let's see. Tonight we're having Yuka's special yakitori chicken meatball curry for dinner. Who puts chicken meatballs in curry? Though I guess chicken and curry is pretty standard, so it's really not that weird. I've put some spring onions in, too. They go perfectly with the chicken meatballs. Slicing them up really thick is what makes it taste extra specially delicious. Hana, haha. <laughs> okay, that's new. This is starting to sound less like curry rice and more like curry udon. She's got a real adventurous streak, that one. I just hope she quits while she's ahead and doesn't just keep jamming things in. <sighs> Not that I'm ever going to find out if I can't get out of here. I saw what happened on the news. Are you okay? Oh, so they're at least co covering this on the news then. They said something about the hospital security going into lockdown and trapping everyone inside. Are you and Mom all right? I'm worried about you. We both are. So people on the outside just think this is happening. <sighs> Ooh. Sorry. So the people on the outside just think this is happening due to the hospital security system malfunctioning? I guess I should call her. Huh. I can't get through. No service. But it was working fine just seconds ago. There goes my lifeline to the outside. Still, at least I can rest easy knowing that Naomi's safe and sound. I just wish I replied while I still had a signal. I hope she doesn't start frantically worrying about me or anything. Guess I might as well turn my phone off for now. I need to try and conserve the battery as much as possible. Emergency exit key. The tag says this is for an emergency exit. <coughs> Maybe with this I can actually get out of the building and down the fire escape to safety. What is this? First that black puddle in the hallway, and now this. What could have possibly happened in this hospital? I don't know. Wait. There's a red warning flash flashing on the screen. I did that on accident. Eh? Who's that? So I can't use this staircase either then. Seems I'm going to need to consider another route. Um. Ah, hello. Who might you be? A lab coat. Is he one of the doctors here? Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry if I startled you. I work here. Dr. Seshiro Morishige, Morishige, at your service. May I ask your name as well? Uh. Morishige? That's it. The end. Was he one of the students? Was he the... Was he the one guy... Was he the one student in uh, Corpse Party 1? the glasses and the purple hair or lavender hair. I thought he died, though. Hmm. Oh, well. That's it. That's it. I'm gonna get all the other stuff on my own, so... Thank you all very much for watching, and ciao for now. Ciao for now.